week with her hard riding. Straight shooting. And suspense. Coronado, but it doesn't say a thing about finding that gold. Well, it wouldn't, honey, not in a regular history book. We wouldn't have known about it if Annie hadn't told us. Just think, ingots, bars of gold, buried somewhere near here by Francisco Vasquez Coronado, 400 years ago. Wouldn't that be wonderful if we found that gold, Daddy? <coughs> then you wouldn't have to work anymore and could get well real fast. And my little girl could have a new dress and new shoes and all the things her mother wanted her to have. You're loafing on the job again, Warren. Me and Sully ain't paying you to sit here gassing about that buried gold. Hot air. That's all it is anyway. It is not. It's true. Never mind, honey. You just run along home now. Here. Now, what are you standing there for? Take that stuff out and dump it around and back. Why don't you leave him alone, Ernie? You wouldn't do half as good if you had a bad lung. Well, it gets under my skin, always spouting off poetry, reading books. Oh, you're just jealous because you can't read. Uh. Hi, Mr. Warren. Hi, Jack. Look what I found. It's an Indian peace pipe. We found it in that Indian mound Tag's been working out in Cowdy Hill. Well, now, this is a find. <laughs> <coughs> You're getting to be a real archaeologist, Tag. <laughs> You'll have to come over and see some of his other Indian exhibits sometime, Jeff, and bring Prudy with you for dinner. Thanks, Annie. We'll be glad to, real soon. Take care of yourself. Oh, I'm fine now, Annie. Just fine. I'll be seeing you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Wish we could help Mr. Warren. So do I. Oh, see, what on earth are you doing? Cleaning out the desk. Now all the cases are closed. And filed. Oh, no robberies or shootings to investigate. Just peace. Beautiful peace. Mm, don't say that. Yeah, remember what happened the last time you did? You two are just superstitious. That won't happen again. Oh, no! tried to stick up one of the shipments for the Golden Eagle Mine. I rode down on as I came through Coyote Pass. Did he get the gold, Bill? No, but he wounded one of the guards. Any description of the robber? Medium size, wore a black shirt and neckerchief. Had his holster tied down. Hmm. There's a man in the wanted files who always wears a black shirt. It's his trademark. Name's uh, Peel, Hardy Peel. Take that buckboard, Bill, and follow us. Let me you buckboard, Chuck. Take him right into Dr. Dane's, Bill. Hey, Annie! There's some tracks. Head out that way. Whoever made them was sure traveling fast. Well, we'll chance it.
No, here it is. Still running. Head straight across Mr. Carter's pasture. Yeah, they do, Lofty. You see which way they go. And I'll go on over to Mr. Carter's and ask him if any of his cowhands were in Coyote Hills at the time of the holdout. Right. when I grow up. What are you going to be when you grow up? Well, I'm going to take care of my daddy. I better hurry and get home and fix his lunch or he's going to be late getting back to work. Okay, I'll be seeing you now. Thanks a lot, Tag. Bye-bye. There, Prudy. Just some kitchen things and a hairbrush and soap. We needed them, Daddy. Where'd you get the money to pay for them, Prudy? I just told Mr. Hutton to put them on the bill. So as soon as we find that buried gold, you can pay for them. Prudy. You said we might find it, didn't you, Daddy? Yes, but honey, all we know about that gold is that it could be buried around here somewhere. You see, Coronado passed through here looking for the seven cities of Cibola 400 years ago. That's a long time. The gold bars Annie said he took from the Indians and buried are still here. And the mine they dug it out of is right in the Coyote Hills. Yes, but the people who hunted for that gold never found it. We don't even know where to look for it. Rudy, where'd you get this piece of paper? I guess I picked it up off of the ground when the soap fell out of the bag. Oh. It's got a map on it, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Looks like it was torn out of a book. Hmm. Oh, so old, it's yellow. It's got some writing on it, Daddy. Yes. Just a few sentences in Spanish. I don't read Spanish. Wait a minute. There's one word here I do know. Oro. What does oro mean, Daddy? Oro means gold. Daddy, do you suppose that now, this... Now, wait a minute. We mustn't jump to conclusions. Let's not get our hopes up unless we're sure. It's got to be, Daddy. It's just got to be. Oh, Hardy mm -hmm. Field, where'd you come from? Never mind, I want to get this horse under cover. I just rustled him and we're both hotter than a firecracker. Did you pull a job? I made a pass at the mine shipment and missed. Mine shipment? Get inside quick. If you're spotted with us, we're sunk. Look, Hardy, you can't stay here. We don't want no trouble with the law. Me and Ernie are running a respectable business. And hiding outlaws is a good paying sideline. But only when they're passing through. Well, I'd just be passing through, too, if it wasn't for some felon girl who picked up my trail. Wait a minute, somebody's coming. It's Annie and Locke. Ernie, take this horse and put it in the back stall and throw a blanket over it. Hardy, you hide in my office. And take this bedroll with you, too. Annie and Lockie. 
What can I do for you this fine day? You can board this horse. The outlaw who rode it doesn't come back for it. Outlaw? Did you see a man in a black shirt ride by here on a gray horse? Had his holster tied down. No, I can't say that I did. You sure he came into town? Straight as the crow flies. Stole one of Mr. Carter's horses in the way. If we can't find Carter's horse for him, you can have this one. You better alert the town, Annie. You'll have a hard time getting away. in your horse, Hardy. So I heard. Well, just as soon as it gets dark, you gotta shove out of here. We gotta take the gray horse that you rustled out of here somewhere and lose him. I'm staying here till things cool off. Well, you can't. I can't think of no place we can hide you without us getting into trouble. I said I was staying. Shh. I hear something. Oh, it's you. Yes, Mr. Sully. Jeff. I'll get rid of him. Oh, wait a minute. I know just the place you can stay, Hardy, and it won't hurt any one of us. Jeff's place? Jeff's. Where's Annie and Lofty? I'm looking for a man in a black shirt. A black shirt? Yeah, that's what he wore when he tried to steal a shipment from the Golden Eagle Mine yesterday. Hello, Prudy. Hello, Annie. Annie, where's that Spanish dictionary? Mr. Warren wants to borrow it. Oh, it's a little red book on the top shelf. Oh, yeah. How about staying for lunch, Prudy? Oh, I can't. My daddy told me to come back home. Say, we've got a new boarder at our house. Well, just until the roundup, that is. He's a cowhand. Cowhand? When did he show up? Yesterday. Mr. Sully sent him over to us. Said he was looking for a place to stay. What's his name? Mr. Perry. Harky Perry. Well, I've got to be going. Thanks for the dictionary. I'll bring it right back. All right. Harky Perry. Harky Perry could be Hardy Peel. It's possible. Lofty, why don't you have a talk with Sully while I go out and see Jeff? All right. But we better think up a couple good excuses. Or we'll both look awfully silly if we're wrong. Here's that Spanish dictionary, Daddy. Oh, thanks, honey. Look what it says here. In 1528, an Indian called Tejo told the governor of Mexico that he had traded feathers and ornaments with the Indians to the north for silver and gold. That means there was gold here, and the Indians were mining it. And that's the gold that Coronado took away from them and Barry. What's this about a fellow named Coronado burying gold? Oh, my daughter and I were just going over a history lesson. Yeah? Honey, you better get Mr. Perry some some clean towels while I go to the store. Yes, Daddy. You found it, did you? Well, now that shirt could cause an awful lot of trouble if somebody talked about it. If it was you, why, your daddy might even get shot. You wouldn't want that to happen to your daddy, would you? Well, suppose we keep this little secret to ourselves, huh? I better get back to work now. 
How do you like Mr. Perry? He's all right, I guess. What does he look like? Just like anybody else. We're hunting for the outlaw that tried to rob the Eagle Mine. He may be hiding out here in town. He's a bad man, Cootie. And if anybody knows anything about him, he ought to tell Lofty or me. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Well, I guess I'd better be going. I'll drop by again later. Bye, Prudy. He's coming. What are we going to do? Keep him busy until I get this Russell horse out of here. Well, how can I keep him busy? I don't know. Just keep him busy. fighting about. Who's fighting? You gotta be mad to fight. I ain't mad at nobody. Oh? Then what's the idea of jumping me? I was up in the loft and saw what looked like that outlaw coming in. I thought he's coming in after his horse. When I found out it was you, I had to keep punching you to knock me out. Well, now that you're here, Lofty, uh, what can we do for you? I just came by to pay the board bill for that horse I left here. Oh, forget it. We owe you that the way Ernie socked you. Yeah. All right. We'll be seeing you both later. Hardy, I thought we told you not to come here. Now, is that the thanks I get for risking my neck to let you in on something big? What do you mean, big? That fella, Jeff Warren. He knows where there's a lot of gold buried. No, oh, that kid's been yamming about that ever since he'd been here. Just a pipe dream. Pipe dream, my eye. He's got proof I've seen it. Proof? In that case, maybe we better have a little talk with him. If that no good's been holding out on us, I'll wring his skinny neck. One more word and we'll have all these Spanish words translated into English. Please, Daddy, not so loud. Somebody might hear you. There, that does it. Now listen. Gold ingots at bars. Packed in boxes marked for identification. Just imagine, bars of gold. Please, Daddy. We'll be rich, honey, rich. No more saving and scraping. Afraid to spend a cent, afraid of losing my job. Please, Daddy, we mustn't even talk about it. What's the matter, Prudy? What's wrong? It's nothing. It's nothing at all. Oh. Mr. Perry? What about him? Have you been talking to him? I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Prudy! You got there. What are you trying to hide? Well, if it ain't the map. I bet that's where the gold's buried. Yes, and Jeff is going to take us right to it, aren't you, Jeff? <coughs> it better be there if he wants to keep on living. Prudy's hiding something, and she's afraid. Ernie's hiding something, too. He didn't mistake me for that outlaw. You know, Lofty, unless I miss my guess, they're both connected with Jeff's new border. I think we better pay him a call. Tag, if anyone wants us, we'll be out at Mr. Warren's place. Annie, have you seen a map of my Indian dig any place? Your what? My dig. That's what archaeologists call a place where they're hunting for buried cities or treasures. 
What did it look like? Well, it was on an old yellow piece of paper. Kind of torn out of a ledger book, like this one. Tag, you know better than the tear of books. Well, gosh, Eddie, it was already coming to pieces. I found it in an old ash can behind Mr. Gonzalez's house. Eddie, they've taken my daddy. Who's taken him? Mr. Sully and Ernie and Mr. Perry. Only he isn't a cow hand. He's that robber you've been looking for. I found his black shirt, but he said if I told, he'd shoot my father. Where'd they take him, honey? Out to Coyote Hills to dig up that very gold. What very gold? Coronado's gold. I found a map showing where it was. Right out and back where I dropped those packages, Tag. Was it an old yellow piece of paper? Kind of torn along one edge? Yes. That wasn't a treasure map. That was my dig. I must have dropped it out of the wastebasket. And Jeff and the others thought it was the real thing. Looks like you stirred up a hornet's nest, young fella. Start praying we get there before it's too late. He said something. You see the same thing I do? Yeah, and I don't like it. Now, wait a minute. You can't blame me. Great big bars of it buried by Coronado. Nobody makes a fool out of me, boy. I got on Jeff. Shoot, Annie, I give up. Let's go. Oh. You can run if you want to, but these bullets are faster than you are. Get his gun, Jeff. I'd get over there. Now keep your hands in the air. Oh. Hey, it looks like you found something. Did you find the gold, Daddy? No, Prudy, there wasn't any gold, honey. Then it's just like a big old skull. It is. Holy Toledo. Hey, that looks like a dinosaur's head. What's a dinosaur? Well, it's a sort of a huge lizard, honey. You see, a dino means terrible, and sore means lizard. Terrible lizard. And that's just what they were. Some of them were 80 feet long, with a snake-like neck and a little bitty head. And they lived millions of years ago. Well, Jeff, it looks like you made your strike after all. That head's worth a lot more than gold. It is. It's 150 million years of history. The book this page came from belonged to Mr. Gonzalez. He's the bookkeeper at the Golden Eagle Mine. It's one of his old records that he threw away. I might have known I wouldn't have that kind of luck. Take a look at this. It's from the university. They want to buy 10 acres of that land where you found that dinosaur's head, Jeff. They want to dig it all up. They say you made a real find. That land doesn't belong to me. Didn't we tell you? Lofty and I had it homesteaded in your name. Looks like you aren't going to have to work for a long time, Jeff. Daddy, now you can get well real quick. My little girl can have all the things I've always wanted to get her. Thanks to Annie and Lofty. Doggone it. Why didn't I look for dinosaur bones? That's what comes of not knowing history. Tag, there's a whole shelf of history books right behind you. Good. I better start studying up now. Mm -hmm. 